Hello everyone, and welcome to my Sister Wise 4 e channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. It is well known that Janelle Brown is associated with Plexus, a multi-level marketing MLM company. Fans, though, are growing more concerned after discovering something odd on Janelle's website, according to a Reddit member. Some Sister Wives followers started to assume Plexus was trying to profit off the family's misfortune after Garrison Brown passed suddenly. See what other people are talking about on the internet by reading on. Fans of Sister Wives talk about Janelle Brown's engagement with Plexus. Stars of Sister Wives, who are part of multi-level marketing organizations, have a history of promoting the products during significant life turning points. Would Janelle, however, actually take advantage of Ferrison's passing to advertise Plexus? Many people find it hard to believe, but some Redditors undoubtedly hold that opinion. However, not everyone thinks Janelle did this on purpose. A Reddit user shared online that Janelle recently posted an Instagram story promoting Plexus and talked about how Plexus supported her during Garrison's death, and that's why they're a great company to work with and buy from. All right, it might be the case, and I'm glad they took care of her in that way. I suppose my surprise stems from the fact that Janelle would utilize that to promote and market alcohol. Am I interpreting it too closely? Sadly, Many Redditors came to the realization that it might be true. Mum businesses usually take advantage of circumstances such as these. My acquaintance has been working with Unique for approximately seven years, attempting to develop a downline. Her spouse went away from cancer connected to his military service a couple years ago, another Reddit member wrote. When Unique learned about it, they promoted her to a higher level, gave her a free vacation that she hadn't earned, but couldn't go because she was unexpectedly left a single mother without a job and showed some honorific slideshows featuring her family at unique meetings. She was really flattered, but in my opinion, it was just a way to profit from her loss by making her appear really sympathetic and helpful while actually providing her with very little. Similar thoughts were expressed by others. Reddit users believe the TLC star was manipulated by the NLM. A large number of the Sister Wise cast members work for multi-level marketing organizations, but a lot of Reddit users concur that Plexus didn't look well in this situation. Several Redditors posted remarks like these. No matter how you frame it, using a family tragedy to promote NLM is not a good look. She most likely didn't hesitate. Mung firms have a tendency to take over your life as part of their business model. It is abhorrent. Although it might have seemed significant to her, to them it is really a sales tactic. It's not my fault that she fell for it. How do you feel about the circumstances? Was Janelle Brown, whether aware of it or not, using Garrison's passing to further plexus? Post your thoughts star on Leon Brown was seen out in a rare moment on a walk with their tykes. The low, crucial child of Cody and Mary Brown has been living their stylish life with their mate, Audrey Chris. So, it's great to see how they're doing when they take time to do regular conditioning. Read on for further details and to see the sweet print. Family women Leon Brown caught in rare footage with dog Leon Brown has stayed down from the sister women limelight since the epidemic. They were looking at marriage venues with their mate, Audrey Chris, and their separate families. Unfortunately, the forenamed epidemic derailed all of their plans and they ended up in Utah, Liam's mama. Mary Brown had her B and B there, but Grandma Bonnie was running. Still, due to her age and threat of exposure, she was moved to Flagstaff. Audrey and Leon took over B and B duties and helped Mary as much as they conceivably could. Ultimately, Audrey transitioned and also Leon followed suit in the summer of 2022. This was a huge deal and soon, Leon was no longer re-photographing for the show. Still, they did attend family Gwendolyn Brown's espousal in summer of 2023. Also, they were on hand when former family woman. Christine Brown wed David Woolley though their mama wasn't invited. Now, according to The Sun, where the snaps can be seen, Leon was lately out walking their tykes. 
They were slipping in large black hoodie with long black athletic films and black slides. Leon Brown's curled hair is still in their hand mullet and they had on wireframes. More so, they looked happy and healthy as they rambled with the pups. The couple is presently abiding in Denver, Colorado, and tied the knot intimately. They had no substantiations as it was a tone-officiated marriage, so not indeed Mary was in attendance. Likewise, it didn't come out for quite some time that they had done this with people asking if they would ever make it sanctioned. New life Leon Brown has had to try to navigate life of the last several times. Now in Denver with Audrey Chris, they've settled on writing though they did exercise yoga for some time. In November, Leon took to the stage to partake their new love for jotting and expression. I did a big and scary thing tonight, and I am so proud of myself for being stalwart, and my inner child is so thankful. Open McKnight is the stylish night. Thanks for participating your hearts and words with us. It seems that they've truly come into themselves and are in a much better place. Sorely, it doesn't appear that Cody Brown has come around to Leon's changes. That doesn't appear to count important to Leon. Are you happy to see Leon thriving? Would you like to see further of them and their story on sister women, or is it stylish they stay where they are? During Let us Sunday know in the comment why special. Kobe Brown made fun of his ex-girlfriend Mary Brown. In the special episode, titled Look Back, How We Started, cast members looked back on significant events captured on camera for the TLC show. During one of his interview spots, Cody said he was happy he only had one child with his first wife. Cody said, looking back, I'm really glad we didn't have more kids. It wouldn't have been good for the child because Mary and I weren't healthy at the time, he continued. Early on in the TLC reality series, Cody and Mary's inability to conceive was openly publicized. Robin Brown, Cody's fourth and last wife, even made the offer to act as a surrogate for Mary and Cody's child. Cody has six children with Janelle and Christine Brown, his former girlfriends. He and Robin have two biological children together. On Sunday's special, TLC revisited Cody and Mary's struggle to decide whether to use IVF to try to grow their family. I find it extremely unsettling to experience that again. I'd like to become a parent again. At the time, Mary replied, I would really love that. In a nostalgic video, Cody expressed his desire to continue the therapy, saying, When we're dying when we're 110, we'll look back and we'll be glad we did the IVF. After over 10 years of marital discord, Cody had a change of heart. A year ago, Mary and Cody, who had a kid together, Leon, who was once Maria, formally announced their separation. In 2022, Leon came out as transgender. During the cast's nostalgic stroll down memory lane, Cody was asked to clarify a comment he had made years prior. At the time, he said he didn't have a burning desire to have children with his first wife, during that time, it was more realization that our marriage is not really healthy, Cody said in his explanation. Over the years, Mary has been transparent about her infertility problems. She opened up about one of her miscarriages on Instagram in May. I had to smile and almost giggle to myself as I drove through this town tonight. Three teenage-looking boys, maybe 15 or 16 years old, were walking down the street with their hands in their pockets, chit-chatting away, the woman remarked. Today was a travel day for me. Realizing that, had my baby survived, he might be engaging in that same sort of teenage banter and having those same sort of memorable teenaged moments, Mary said, was a fun and even bittersweet moment for me. He'd be 15 now, and I frequently wonder what life would be like with him here, the woman said. Although there is frequently a great deal of grief and suffering associated with that loss, for me, witnessing those guys' happiness and vitality today was therapeutic in a way. Thanks for watching if you like this video, so please don't forget to subscribe my channel and don't miss any update.